Have you often wondered what the heck a pre-ramble is? Wondered, is that right for me? Well, let me tell you, it's just basically a regular yumtope, but smaller and with way less structure. Here's our Yuletide gift to you. A full pre-ramble episode. That's right. And if you like what you hear, you can get over 50 plus episodes just like this by signing up to be a patron today. We We love love you. you. Happy Happy New Year. Year. (laughs) Yeah, so you're sitting here talking about how, you know, how far we've come in uh, just our layout and format of the show. Yeah, we we never used to do like a, like a, pre-game we just came into it like bareback well i was like not really because we used to well i used to write down stuff in like some google keep notepad things yeah and i'd be like all right i want to like remember to talk about this with you and then like i would look at i would look at it like before we ever started you know Uh and i have three on here that i never got to but i think they're so old i probably can't remember why i wrote them down okay (laughs) But we've gotten to stuff, so, like, I had a pod story and then a pod topic notepad. Yeah. So, like, my pod topic was, like, the general episode. This is what the show was going to be about. This is our central topic, which we've kind of faded away from a little bit. A little bit. (laughs) Mostly because, you know, the world died. Yeah. We're not out there living in it as much. Yeah, pretty much. But then I had a pod stories, which was like, oh, here's just, like, one little thing, which is kind of what we do now, you know? Yeah. Ew, man, I'm looking at some of my pod stories and they're gross, man. Well, like what? So let's see. I've got the Black Friday guy in the Target bathroom. Ew, I, remember I remember him. Telling you about yes. that guy. <laughs> my taxi guy taking me to the airport in the UK, telling me the conspiracies about oil and stuff. Uh-huh. I remember like writing that down while he was talking to me. I was like, mm-hmm, yes. So, yes, this is great material for my podcast. Keep going. <laughs> I'm taking notes because I want to not be a dumb american anymore he's like yes good yes yes <laughs> something about how there was a machete attack in london oh yeah yeah i remember you telling me about that. like that was like while you were there right or shortly before but no that was like while i was there yeah and i was like that was like his version of a mass shooting jesus because they don't have guns so i guess just taking a big knife is the equivalent you know that's so horrifying to me like i'm it's probably easier to stop a dude with a machete and less casualties but still a fucking machete well, yeah. uh i've got 1917 infection city that's all i wrote <laughs> i oh, do remember that one that's for the movie right <laughs> yeah when he fucking yes. dunks his hand in that water like right God. after he gets hurt yeah that was nasty uh toast super batting my leg i remember that <laughs> i wrote down I said, for Kelsey, funeral held on a birthday. Do you sing happy birthday to the corpse? (laughs) (laughs) These are the things we do. Like, like, I hope you guys know. These are the thoughts that we have that then we write down for each other. And then we craft this show. That's that's like what we do. I know. I love our discord, like our personal discord. That's just you and me for the show. It's got some. Yeah, it's got some weird shit in here. Uh, this was last edited November 17th of 2020. So that's the last time I ever used that. And I'm going to delete it now. It's going to go away. Viking funeral. Goodbye. And then I have pod topics. Did a couple of these. Got crack in your dick. Uh, Cocaine bear, which you beat me to. (laughs) Ooh, that, uh, AI that like Uh. wrote the, the like essay. Yeah. The like. What do you call it? Like a, I was like, hey, don't hate me. A manifesto. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I think that was the last... No, the last one that we did that was like just one topic was uh, our cancel culture pod. Yeah. Which was no. not that long ago. I think it was our Gen Z one. Oh, yeah. We did dunk on them for like a whole episode. <laughs> yeah, we did. So let's see. I have... You know what? Here's some uh, here's some stuff for you guys. Ready? These were pod topics that we never got to. That I never brought up, I guess. Exclusive for you folks here in the Patreon. All right. So I have something about traditions. So I said like traditions, like something that you do. It's like specific to you that you do every year. Like I play Super Metroid the same week every year. You know? I remember That's like us talking that about I do. this. And I, I don't think I have any like me traditions. Or at least yeah. none that, like, I could readily state off the top of my head. I'm sure there's, like, weird shit that I do that well, only I do. Well, I mean, you probably do, got, but... like, holiday stuff, you know. Yeah, I guess. Like, we watch yeah. Die Hard and get Chinese food every Christmas. But... See? 
that that's a good <laughs> tradition, you know. I mean, Super Metroid, it's just because it means something to me, but it, you know, Die yeah. Hard and Chinese food means something to you for that time of the year, so that's the same thing to me, you know. Yeah, I guess so. So, I had that one. I had what hooks you to a show, but I've brought that up many times just in us discussing shows. Yeah. I had childhood shows and stuff. That's what I wrote. All right. <laughs> so I think I was just talking about the shows that we used to watch as kids. I think I was just looking for an excuse to talk about Mighty Max because I fucking <laughs> love Mighty Max so much. Uh, <laughs> and then I wrote, and this was because I was leaving it up to somebody else to kind of like bring this to our attention to make this a bigger thing. We may still get into this if okay. you guys listen to the pre-ramble and would like it. But I wrote Harry Potter game can like. Can like. So, you know, like Harry Potter game, that Harry Potter game. I was like, are we allowed to like it? Because yeah, of know. that whole thing. And really, I that's because I was waiting for an email to come into our Yimtope email. Mm, yeah, that was going to like discuss it super heavily on one person's side. And then we could just go from there. I would like to know. So like, is that game coming out pretty soon? Not that I'm aware of. Yeah, it's like Hogwarts. Hogwarts, Hogwarts Legacy. Legacy. Yeah. Uh, I'm still buying it like day one. I Is want this game. Is it a PS5 like, really exclusive? Bad. No, shouldn't be. No. Oh yeah, it's no, on it's gonna everything. be on. Yeah, everything. Yeah, I so want it. it. I want it. <laughs> yeah, there's no like timeline yet. Gameplay yeah. footage first leaked in 2018, and they're still saying like it'll be out in like 2022 probably. Yeah, no, because I think it got delayed. But that's because, you know, COVID and shit happened. Yeah. So according to Warner Brothers, franchise creator J.K. Rowling is not directly involved in the game's development. Yeah. I wonder if the wiki just says that so that they can be like, it's okay to like this one. Please Maybe. like it. Please, I mean, she's... we need to sell. Well, no, because she doesn't have to be involved in it to get money from it, you know? That's just saying, because, you know, like, she she was, like, on set for all the movies. She was part yeah. of every movie getting made. The you know. title of this article tickles me. <clears throat> it says, Warner Brothers reassures fans that Rowling isn't directly involved with the new Harry Potter game. Like, but, no, guys, it's okay. You can like this one. But that's not what we're worried about. We're worried about, if I pay 70 bucks for this game, does she get $7? You know? Uh, it does say it's a footnote Times here. a million. That she will almost certainly make money from sales of this new game as she well, still yeah. profits from the wizarding world itself. So, yeah, okay. So, your news article means nothing, sir. But I still want it because it's the Harry Potter game that I've wanted. Like, I want it. I'm, I'm, I'm going to get it. I want it only if it has, like, specific things that will piss her off. Like, if it has <laughs> trans wizards and trans oh witches, my God. like, fuck okay. yeah. Like, if there's a non-binary gender option, hell yes. If there's, if there's just any little thing that would make her blood boil, yeah, then I will enjoy it. That's funny, because uh, the premise of that topic was gonna be because Harry Potter means a lot to a lot of people. Like for some people, they grew up with it, and it's like yeah. ingrained in in their childhood and how they grew to learn about the world and all this stuff. And now it's like, do I have to turn my back on my whole childhood because of this person you know right like it's a, it's still a good franchise and a lot of kids like you yeah. said they grew up with it they identify with the characters that are in it so that's one i had never touched and then i had generational differences and i said like hoarding hoarding <laughs> you think that's a boomer thing i kind of think it is i think it's more prevalent in the boomer age group because yeah. that's when, you know, you were born right when, like, your parents saw their parents kind of get out of the Great Depression and they didn't have anything. So it's probably ingrained in you, like, when you can get something, get it, because you never know when you can't have it. Yeah. And in our culture, like, like our age group, it's all about minimalism and all that kind yeah. of stuff. Like, how little can you get by with? But there's also, like, a movement now towards maximalism. Have you heard about this? Oh, I have not okay so okay. this might be like a future topic for a big pod but like i just want to break it down a little bit here because there's like a bit like trends always happen in art and music in lifestyles in the way that you're kind of rebelling against the the stuff that came before yeah. so 
of course, minimalism was a huge thing. Marie Kondo, like make sure you have only what you need and your life will be so much better if you have just like the right amount of stuff. Yeah. But I think that since COVID has become a thing, people are just like, you know what? If it makes you happy, you should have it. And yeah. like people are just hoarding again, but like in a good way. So like somebody will have like a wall full of succulents because it makes them happy or like a hundred different figurines because it makes you happy. Like have a collection of stuff, have it on your wall, yeah. put it out so that you can look at it and appreciate it. If it, if it brings you joy, when you look at it, you should have it. See, that's the thing. Collect something, not just have everything because yeah. it is a thing. That's the difference I think between this maximalism and hoarding. Yeah. It sounds like also... maximalism is controlled hoarding. <laughs> yeah, that's a good term for it. But there's also like people that will go buy stuff just to decorate a wall. Like instead of having a big empty wall, line okay. it with little shelves and have a ton of little trinkets all over it. Just like fill the wall with stuff. Okay. I mean, I can do that. I like that aesthetically. <laughs> and okay. my my living room or my game room is kind of like a tribute to that like you've seen my board game shelves it's full yeah. of board games and there's all sorts of stuff on top of the shelf and yeah. like that room is just full of stuff that we enjoy but like what i don't like about it <laughs> is the dusting aspect that's because, like yeah. i know that you and i share a, a loathe for dusting and it's just how do you how do you keep up with it how do you make it look clean you know I like dusting my movies because it's flat tops and you can just go whoop, whoop, and you're done, right? <laughs> I don't like dusting anything. But like figures or like your shelf, like there's just, you know, so like you have your, um, you know, you've got your new little cat thing that's up there and then you have your David Bowie record sleeve that's sitting out, right? Yeah. Now they're not like equivalent. It's It's not like... What's the word I'm looking for? It's not like one note. You have like varying heights and all this stuff. So now it becomes more of a chore to dust that because it's yes. not just like you can't just go across. It's irregular. You know? <laughs> yeah. And that's They're... what I hate about the figures because a lot of them are like precariously set up. So yes. if I accidentally graze it with a Swiffer, they tumble. Right. So then I, I, I have to pull them all down, but I don't want to pull them all down. It was hard to get them up there in the first fucking place. Right. So, yeah, that that's why I like that, but I don't know. Figures are complicated. There's crevasses for the dust to get into. <laughs> yeah, just if you're going to do a wall like that, I say do it in like square thing. Like do books. Get books. Get books. Get movies. Get like, get something Get pop figures. I don't care. But something that you can just like wipe once and you're done. You know? When will they make something that like fixes dusting? You know? Like like a cleaning tool. Like like yeah. canned air, but better. Yeah, because I can't use canned air. Kratos will fucking tumble. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I need like a, a soft, concentrated stream of air to just get rid of all the dust. You know, I'm about to tell you one of the weirdest things that I do with myself. Ready? Okay, here we go. <laughs> I have this like this this dream, this like daydream of mine, I guess. Uh huh. I don't know how I want to put it, but basically, I picture like, do you ever do things like this? So I picture maybe it's tied to my watch or something like that. But I can be like, man, I want to dust this bookshelf, right? So I can be okay. like, dust, dust the bookshelf, and this like, I always picture it blue, but there's a blue portal that will like appear. Like in like the length and shape of the bookshelf and just travel down it, taking away all of the item that I told it to get rid of, which was dust. And it just like, sheep, and then it's clean. What the fuck? Right? And I dream of something like that where I can just be like, <laughs> I want to like cut the grass. And I just like cut the grass or like I make it run over Jinx and say, get rid of all the like extra shedding hair, you know? I thought you meant run over Jinx. No. But no, like... Okay. No, like, it's, like, a little portal, so it's, like, flat, you know? Okay. It's, like, a little... Think, like, the portals from Portal, right? All right. I was picturing, like, Donnie Darko, like, that thing that comes out of... You haven't seen Donnie Darko, fuck. No, I haven't seen that, so... Okay, well... Think of it like any sci-fi movie when it's, like, scanning for contaminants and, like, a laser grid just kind of, like, just, like, goes, like, down a person. Yeah. 
Okay. Picture it like that, but like a solid in like the portal shape round thing. And it's just whatever size it needs to be. So it can't be an inch long because Jinx is bigger. So it has to be like a couple <laughs> feet and then it just runs down her and all the extra hair is gone. Yes. I think of shit like that all the time. And I'm like, man, I wish I had that for my bookshelf. Or because like I would do it to like my whole house. Like I, I want my whole house dust free, right? Yes. And then you set like, it and it's the size of your house and it just runs down the whole house and boom, no dust. Laser up that dust. I always want like futuristic inventions to be a real thing. You know, I've always yeah. dreamed of like having a hairstyle that you can like click and save. And then when I don't feel like okay. fucking doing my hair, I just like go through like the, <laughs> like a like a screen that pops up in front of my face and I swipe through and be like, which one of these hairstyles will look good on me today? And I select it. And it's like... You know, I had to do the hairstyle once, but then I did it and it looked good. And then I just saved it. Yeah. <laughs> and See? I just do it again. <laughs> See, that shit's fun. Like, like you know, it's not going to happen, but like, I want that. <laughs> but wouldn't it be nice? You know? <laughs> but then, of course, I can't just let mine be nice. I took it a step further and I was like, what if it needs to be like super specific? So it's like, what if I said, you know, I want all the dust to go away, but what constitutes dust? skin cells and I'm like what if I did it and it just <laughs> took all my skin away terrible you know? I was like you gotta be real particular with this device that only exists in my mind that yeah. isn't real but it's a very <laughs> temperamental system it's like a, a genie you have to be careful what you wish for yeah I always think about it it was um Animaniacs Wacko's Wish did you ever see that that sounds familiar maybe a billion kajillion years ago yeah well they have like this half penny they have this thing and they're supposed to make a wish with it by like the end of the day uh-huh and this one guy gets it and yakko's talking to him and he's like hey you know what do you want and he, he's like i want a, a bunch of money and he's like well you know you got to be real careful with how you say that because he's like let's say you wish for a thousand bucks and then like a thousand deer run through the room you okay. know and for some reason that scene really stuck with me because I was like, look at how like particular you gotta be at this shit and I applied <laughs> that to my portal thing for no reason. And Just now one of those my things. own Yeah, my own fun invention in my brain now has a problem that I gave it. You know? <laughs> there are consequences to this fake thing I made up. Well, because I used to think about what if I could just open my wallet and just pull out money, right? If only. And then you know, I went to college and I took economics and then I was like, so am I like flooding the market with like fake money? Not like fake money. It's money. But now there's a surplus of money. And am I damaging the economy? And I like gave it a problem, you know, <laughs> okay. for no reason. But I did. And I was like, that's a dangerous one. Maybe we'll shelf the, the self-producing money wallet. That's not a good one. Okay. But this portal business. Now that, that's going guys, places. That's going places. That idea's got legs. So. <laughs> yeah, because I don't like dusting, so I just wish I could turn on this thing and just, there's no dust. But you don't have to move it. You don't even have to move it. You don't have to do anything. You just set it, and it does it. You just do it. Set it and forget it. That's what I want. And I was like, man, I would use it for everything. Like, I would have it go, no plaque, run it over my face, and just, like, my teeth are clean, you know? <laughs> Like, could I do it for bathing? Like, what what all possibilities are there? And I think about it way too much. Sometimes you just want shit clean and you don't want to have to do it. Like, it's not going to, like, fold your laundry. It just has to get rid of a thing that's there. That, like, sc You know what I think it makes me think of now? Have you ever seen the laser etching videos? Yes, yes. Where, like, those. the laser just runs over and then it's there? They used to have that, like, stand at the mall where they would, like, etch pictures of your pet or whatever into a little cube of resin or whatnot. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I remember yeah, those. And you, and you could, like, watch it happen while they're, yeah. they were out there. I was like, yes. I sit there for hours. You know, I've seen this on TikTok now. They use those lasers that, you know, etch the images and stuff into belt buckles and all that crap. Uh-huh. You can put them on, like, rusty pans and stuff, and it'll, like, get rid of all the baked on shit and just clean them to, like, they were brand new. Oh, my God. Like, it just wipes away all the stuff that's on these pans. And I'm I like... I want that. I need this, like, real bad. I didn't expect to get on my, like, crazy brain stuff for so long. 
I don't know how we got to this point, but I somehow talked Taylor into playing Uncharted 4, which I've been trying to get her to do since 2016 when it came out. So it's only Jesus. been five years. God. She beat it. She enjoyed it. Very good. And then she was like, well, what now? And I was like, well, I think you have to play Lost Legacy, the, the one with the girls. Yeah. So she starts that one. And I was like, I like this one more than part four. And she's like, really? And I was like, fucking play this game. So she plays it. And I was like, what'd you think? She's like, oh, it's so much better than four. And I was like, I know. And she was real pissed off. Like, how can you have Uncharted without Nathan Drake? Like, what the fuck? And I was like, but this game, this game proved it can work. And it did work really good. Well, good. So I just watched her beat that before we came here. It was, it was a ride and a half, man. Nice. So she gets done and goes, well, now what? And I was like, fuck, you playing a third game in a row? Fuck. You want to, <laughs> you want to roll. So what do you think I, uh. I offered her next. God of War? No. Oh, she'll ah. never play that. Ah. No, I was like, it's time. It's like, I think it's time for you to play Spooderman. Oh, my God. I was like, fucking play Spider-Man. Like, the two games I've wanted her to play are Spider-Man and Uncharted 4. Yeah. I got the Uncharted ones done. I think it's time for Spider-Man. All right. I think, I think she would dig that shit. It's a good game. So, we'll see how it goes. I can't think of a fucking opener. Uh, we already did Fat Thor. Yeah, it's like all I can think about is Fat Thor. Um, do one about chess. Ugh, oh, it's about chess set. Oh my Beautiful. Gosh. Fuck. <laughs> Dude. It's black and gold. Yeah, that's that's your shit right there, isn't it? It's my shit. <laughs> yeah, it's my shit. Oh my God, when he posted it, I was just like, oh, I need that. Where did he post it? I'm going to go look at it again. Oh, I can't remember. I think... It has to be episode discussion. Episode discussion. He always like obeys the rules of the Discord. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah, there it is. Oh, it's, Ooh, it oh, is it's really pretty because it's Zelda. That's why the gold is like that nice, ancient rubbed yeah, look. You dude. know. Ooh. Ooh, oh, Oh, I like cool. the horses. Because I didn't even notice that like Navi was the little pawns. Yeah, it's cool because the 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 gold ones all the good guys and the black side is all the bad guys. I, I didn't know. even notice that because. Well, who's the king? In co- oh, well, duh. Link's the king. That's, that, that was a dumb question. Of course. <laughs> yeah, because there's Ganondorf on that side. It's fucking beautiful. Who's the bishop? The bishop? For... Yeah. Which side? Our side? Uh, For our side. Uh, That's Epona. That's his horse. That is not a horse. Oh, that's sorry. The sorry, horse the bishop. The- um, <laughs> uh, it's a girl... I don't think it's Sheik. I think it's this girl. The lady who's the bodyguard for Zelda in Ocarina of Time. Zelda, Ocarina of Time, bodyguard. I cannot, I cannot believe I can't think of her name. Give me, give me a minute. Impa. Okay. Impa. I think it's this lady. Impa. Let me get a picture and we'll see. Oh yeah, 100%. Look at this. Ready? I got to put it in the general so people aren't like, why are you talking about this? It's totally this girl. You oh, agree? yeah. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, okay. That's Impa. She's got, I tried to rotate her character model. For oh, my God. There. <laughs> That's not how this works. Uh, and then you've got Gorgon. Gorgon. I, I don't think I can remember fucking Goron. Jesus Christ. I haven't played a Zelda game in a minute, guys. Okay. But the guys on the end, those are, those are Gorons. Okay. Gorons. They're like purple, right? I feel like I've seen those guys before. They're brown. They're rock people. Oh. Purple? I don't think they should be purple. Um, No, they're these little cute dudes. Look at this dude. I'm going to show you this guy, and you're going to be like, oh, he's cute. Guys, you ready? You ready? She's going to say that exactly in three, two, one. Oh, he's cute. See? <laughs> See? He is cute. Hey, they want to cuddle him. I don't like his feet, but... Yeah. Um... I like his soul patch. He looks like he knows how to party. Yeah, he does. <laughs> they just sit around and be rock people. <laughs> they got nothing else going on. Um, the other side, I'm not... I mean, that's that's like a little too far away. Are you sure those are those guys? They don't... He looks yeah, like a, like but, a pig but or it's, something. But it's the king dude. Like here. Let me... Let me send you this one. I've only ever played one Zelda game, and it's, like, not a game in the eyes of most Zelda people. Okay. This, this uh, third dude right Yeah, here? that's the one. Yeah, yeah this or King dude. Uh, which one? 
Wait, wait. So it's so it's not a Zelda game in the eyes of who? Just the people Gamers? who... Gamers? Yeah. Okay. People who love Zelda. What, is it just like Link's shooting range or something for the Wii? No. Okay. Um, what, uh, the Four Swords adventure thing? No. Um, give me a system. Give me the system at least. What is my favorite system? That would be a really good question for the soda stream. That actually would be. Um, well, I'm thinking of the Zelda games on all the systems. And I'm like, those are all good games. Nobody would combat those. You're talking the DS? Yeah. Like the DS? DS. What? The, the, the Phantom Train or whatever? Phantom Hourglass. <laughs> Phantom Hourglass. Yeah. Minish Cap. People like those games. Did they? People love those games. Yeah. Okay. Every time I mean, I... they're part of the timeline. Yeah. Well, every time I bring them up, people are like, oh, that's how it rolls out of the game. We need to play the ones that are like, the god ones. Fuck off. Fuck off. People in Zelda love to gatekeep, you know? Quit gatekeep. For real, dude. Like, get the fuck out of here with that. That is not a is real stupid. game. Go play Wind Waker. That's a good one. Well, dude, you should play Wind Waker well. <laughs> all the time. It's my favorite one. <laughs> it's everybody's it's so favorite good. one. Because it's so fucking good, okay, my dude. Whatever. <laughs> dude, the day you play Wind Waker, you're going to be like, well, no, I'm not saying, like, it's a good Zelda game. Like, it's just a good game. Okay. Because if you want to talk fucking Zelda people, they're they're just going to tell you Ocarina of Time and that's it. Yeah. Which, I've played that game. It's a good game. Actually, it's between that and Majora's Mask. People are pretty equal on Majora's Mask being better. Zelda people are weird, dude. <laughs> I like them, and I used to play them like fucking crazy. And not even like crazy. I would just play each one as they came out. Yeah. I've There's not many of them I've played more than once. Because, like, they're okay. You know. Like, they just take too long. To date, there's still not a Zelda game that's come out that I didn't buy day one. So, really? I guess that's something. Yeah. I bought Skyward Sword day one. I got my gold Wiimote. Of course. Because it came with a gold remote. Never played that game. Oh, my God. I bought Breath of the Wild the day it came out for the Wii U. And then promptly traded it in for the Switch version when I got my Switch. Just never played it. Okay. Uh, I haven't played any of the DS ones because I didn't have a DS, so I had to miss out on those, which pisses me off because I've always wanted to play Phantom Hourglass and Spirit Tracks and shit. Well, you have a DS now. You could, right? Yeah. Well, I like... Get them. Yeah, they're expensive, I think. Really? Yeah, that's why I never went and got them. Uh. You know, retro games are a whole thing. You know what? We're actually going to get in that on the show, so... Okay, yeah. But, well, like, should we, uh... Zelda's good. It's just not as good as people think because you know what is as good as people should think it is what metroid okay metroid you know what else is a pile of crap what's a pile of crap mario 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 is okay dude he's not like the greatest thing that's ever walked the planet like most people think i mean he's got his ups and downs i mean i like all of his games you know but he 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 doesn't shake the world like he used to Every game of his that came out was like, holy fuck, what are video games, you know? <laughs> and now it's just like, yeah, it's a good game, dude. Another Mario game? Whatever. Yeah, it's like same thing. I keep getting so. ads for Life is Strange 3. My computer is like really wanting me to play it. Oh, they really want you to get in that game. They sure do. Uh, I mean, it's got like, great reviews from what I saw the other day, so. Okay, did you write a thing? I wrote a thing. I don't know if I like you it. Do you did. like it? I mean, that's a perfect mixture of what we specifically discussed about it doing like <laughs> words with friends but with chess so yeah <laughs> that's that's it which we still need to find us a game i know i was thinking about that today i was like oh i should go to the app store i'm sure there's one out there that's just like you want to play chess with your friends here you go chess app with friends <laughs> ready guys we're gonna find one right now <laughs> okay let's do this go into the there's app one store. called leeches l-i or lichus wow I it's one of the most chess. popular chess chess apps to play with friends online okay as long as it'll let us play even together. world chess champions use this one oh they fuck yeah like it they like it i mean i think we found it i think we're done stalling it immediately if you are interested you can hire a coach and they'll help you learn a on chess the app coach i'm gonna beat what your the ass fuck <laughs> this is gonna suck <laughs> Yeah, I'm installing it right now. 5 million plus downloads with a 4.5. You know Can't it's good. Can't go wrong. Right. 
I already got it. It's done. Okay. I'm done with this. No more chess. It's already 840. <laughs> the Just time podcast. slips away. <laughs> I know. You ready to get into this? Then? Let's get into it. Right. Are you looking for a podcast about chess with friends? Well, then you must be thinking of another podcast. The Checkmate! I was going to say Checkmate. 